Hello viewers, the Model Maniac back here with another video and yeah, we're doing another unboxing uh, we're going to do a nice small kit today it's been a while since I've done something small um, and it's good because uh, small builds are always fun you get them done and you get that sense of accomplishment and yes, we're doing a Tamiya 1-35 to scale Willys Jeep um, let's have a look inside shall we um, yeah. Like I say, it's quite a nice small kit. Um, how small exactly? Well, you can see there, can't you? How small, that's the uh, extent of the thing. Um, let's get the parts open, but before we do that, have a look at the uh, instructions, shall we? I've already had a look through, as you could probably imagine. Where's the beginning? I don't think I folded these quite, there we go. There we are, the Willys Jeep, and uh, got a nice picture there, but you're not interested in the picture. I'm um, not going to do too much in this, um, just talk you through it really, um, and just mainly looks like you build up the, sh the chassis there on the bottom left, you, well really that's all you do, you add, um, uh, looks like the exhaust there, A23, then some suspension bits and things, you do your diff down here you add the, your padding to your seats and your what's that over there, all your gubbins and the co uh, the cockpit, the uh, what would it be called, the driver's seat um, basically add all that in, you add the dash in don't know if there's a decal for that, it looks like it might be um, then you add them together, you add your chassis and things and then you make the wheels now I believe, uh, yeah, you put them on, you can add some optional stuff, some like jerry cans, and then you add your windshield and your man there. And now we're on to the bit that's probably more interesting bit for most of you, is the paint schemes. Um, unfortunately they're in black and white, like most Tamiya stuff, but um, they're green, give you a hint, most of them are green. Um, but, yeah, you get, what's that there? Uh, Czechoslovakia 1945, that's Italy 1945, most of these are the military police ones it looks like. Uh, is that it? Where there was more. Uh huh, there we are. I don't like the timing instructions. It might just be me, but I feel like I'm doing it all wrong. Uh, what's that there? And that's summer, so this is a D Day one, uh, summer 1944 in Normandy. Um, what's that there? It's part of the Red Bull Express. I, th I think I remember seeing a documentary thing on that. So, uh, that's this centre one here, and then at the bottom, I quite like the look of, because it's got a, it's got the, uh, now is that a 50 cal or a 30 cal? Who knows? I, I'm not entirely sure. Is it, is it either? I'm not, I'm not big on my American guns. Um, but yeah, it's got the, uh, machine gun mounted on the back. Unfortunately, you don't get a second fellow to man the thing. Um, but yeah, it does look quite cool, that, and that's a, uh, Belgium one. Now I'm interested to see what's this bar at the front. Is that some sort of aiming device? For the because it goes on like that. Uh, comes up the front. So if you know what that is, do comment below because I'd like to know. Um, I don't know what one I'll do. Um, we need to open the decals. Uh, do we have any scissors? No, but we do have. A cutting mat and a knife. So let's carefully. Oh, oh! Say carefully. Um, wow, there's a hell of a lot of them. What's the way? There we are. That's the right way up. And there's quite a number on there. Most of them are just small markings, and I'm assuming you wouldn't use most of these. You'll have lots, obviously, for the. Uh, well, it's an American vehicle, so I should call it the hood, but I'm going to call it the bonnet. Um, but, yeah, and you get your military police logos, convoy command, all sorts of stuff. I assume that's for the uh, Red Bull Express version. Let's pop them back in there. That's all the um, boring stuff out of the way. Let's get into the real meaty bit of the kit. Um, the bit that we all really buy the kit for, that's the bits, isn't it? Um, what well, we've got it here, I don't like staples. 
that has not gone very well. There we are. So this is, well this is going to allow for a quick build. Which is nice, nice quick relaxing build. You don't have to worry about most of the body, which is good. you got your, sort of that iconic grill for one of these Jeeps. Um, yeah, you're good, your wheel arches, all, all sorts, quite good that. And two sprues. Uh, let's start with this one because it's the one I've got to hand. Probably shouldn't. I should probably just cut them instead of putting the staples. But I'm too lazy, even though I'm holding a knife. I'm going to leave the clear bits in their packet because I don't want them to get scratched. And it's not the most novel thing in the world. Oh, it's hard to see it on camera though. Two windshield pieces and what looks like the headlights. Yeah. Now, right, here we are. Plenty of bits, not shot for any of those. Sorry if my shadow keeps getting in the way. Just talk you through them. Uh, normal Tamiya stuff, really. No flash, as far as I'm concerned. You got your, uh, your that's the front windscreen sort of frames, your chairs, the exhaust, so like you get like the whole uh, manifold and things there. Uh, your bonnet, some bags, various things, various side skirts. Uh, so what have we got down here? Various boxes there, looks like your padding. For one thing, there's your dash up there. Some frames. All looks very well moulded, but then again it is it's Tamiya, so I'd be disappointed if it wasn't. And it's always a nice to go to a nice small kit, because most of the small kits that I build are the FX 176 stuff and most 99% of them are a bit naff to be honest because they're the old vintage classics and I do like doing them because it does present some sort of challenge and somebody has commented on the channel I thank you for that saying about how they think it's quite nice that I do that and I, I, I agree too it's quite nice to well it's quite nice that FX have the vintage classics range but I really wish they're gonna they update those kits which I doubt they ever will do because they don't make much in 76 scale anymore if anything and they they appear to be with 2021 moving towards 72nd scale armor which if you want me to do those kits the uh tiger and the sherman i'd like to do them because i haven't built a tiger yet i have got two tiger kits which you've seen unboxings on which i need to do but i just haven't got round to them um yeah sorry for that bit of a ramble but yeah, it's nice to build a small kit that goes together well, and I'm, well, I'm going to be reasonably sure. I'll go with a, a punt and say, yeah, this is probably going to be quite a good kit. It looks like it. You get your, your bloke there, and he looks all very good and things you get, and then you get a load of well, this stuff mainly looks optional. You get your tools and things, your jerry cans, or you need your steering wheel. That's not really optional, is it? And you got the suspension arms. There's your gun, which I don't know the name of. Um, your wheels obviously five because you get the spare one if you're wondering um, your differential what looks like leading into the transmission you get a fire axe it's quite good this isn't it I love all these small gubbins because I'm building the um, Sherman at the moment Tam one of the Tamiya Shermans looks like the early production one yeah it says on the box actually and you get so much stuff to just chuck on it it's amazing um, yeah that looks like a hockey stick I doubt it is um, yeah, uh, and that looks like a mm, hang on. Sorry, I can't quite see who that is without getting my shadow. And let me see this piece down here next to the the gun. It's like a rifle in some sort of uh, stand thing. Anyway, looks nice. Can't I've got any issues with this kit. I probably should put them in the bag, but I'm not going to. And there's a good reason why I'm not going to, because as I finish stop recording this video, I, I'm I'm gonna just um, start building it. So, yeah. Uh, ooh, we need to make sure we put the clear parts back where they belong. And yeah. I'm trying to do this video as efficiently as possible because I don't have to make any cuts then. And I think I've got away with it. Bing, bang, bosh. There we are. Back in the box. Everything's there. Um, I don't know how much this costs, but I think it's around £15. 10 to 15 pounds, something in that range. Normally these size kits are about 
13, so that's why I'm saying that. And if it is 13, say at the max it's 15. I haven't built many Tamiya kits, but from the quality you get, there's definitely, you could argue that this is £15 worth any day of the week, and I think it definitely is. And if anybody actually takes my buyer's advice and wants a cheap kit even to get started in modelling, I reckon this could be a good one. Well, we'll have to see once I've built it and I talk about it then. Well, we'll see. I might have changed tune then. But yeah, thank you. I don't know why I keep banging it. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you are excited for me building this kit. And um, you might get one of your own. Yep, thank you for watching. Um, oh, we'll just say before you go, thanks for all the uh, new subscribers uh, on the channel. I know it's a bit of an odd time to mention it. Um, but yeah, thank you for subscribing. We've hit 80 now. So uh, thank you all very much. I hope you stick around. Um, I know I haven't been uploading too recently lately, lately because I haven't really got much to upload. So uh, yeah, I'll see you uh, all, all in the next video, whatever that may be.